Hey everyone, welcome to Ecocalypse. So, how complex can this complex be? Let's start off with a little bit more simpler so that we could escalate to the more complex parts of, uh, again, no pun intended, complex parts of the complex. So, for your showroom, these are just um, things that you earn as you achieve, you know, achieve a couple of things um, as you play. Nothing too special about your showroom. Bios as well as you collect, as you level them up, you get other buffs as well to your roster. Memory, special mission, furnishing collection as well. You will have additional buffs here. Uh, just want to go through the storage. These are called vibration arms. So as you collect vibration arms, you will get buffs. You don't have to equip them if you collect all of them they will be useful as they will add to your buffs so again your showroom is also is is to is to sorry for me to summarize the showroom it's just a collection of things an achievement of things which adds to buffs okay so nothing too special about the showroom let's move on to the archive the archive is also a buff system. It's related to your progress through the story. Okay, so you'll unlock all of these as you progress. Then as you collect more fragments, as you see down here, you can promote your MC or your character, your main character to, uh, you know, SSR. So you will see it here. Memory bond as well. You will be acquiring um buffs as you achieve more fragments again these may be attained through the story so these are buffs as well so these are your less complicated parts of the complex we'll go to leisure before we go to dormitories and work agency because they work hand in hand your leisure guys is your um affinity system so of course you need to love your ladies and you need to um, make sure that you know about this one. These are just groups. Let's say, for example, here, I've activated these. Once you have the cases, if you um, raise their affinity, they will also give you buffs. So member HP. So for both of them, they'll be given nine eight eight point eight percent and this one is an additional skill as you can see here there's an improvement not additional skill but additional stat improvement to what they have so uh once you have collected um, the cases all the cases for each of these organizations then you level them up in their affinity then uh total affinity once you're for example i'm at 17 right now if I go up to 19, I would level this up and the bonus effect would level up as well. So the, these you will accumulate again over time. And um, again, make sure that you are prioritizing building the organization and collecting um, uh, the cases so that you could activate not, you know, you could, you know, have complete activations of the buffs. So that is your organizational chart. And again, affinity, increase the affinity of your core, the six that you are using. Then once you have excess, you know, excess materials for affinity, then you could upgrade um, other cases outside of your core in the organization. So next, going out of the leisure center, the core of the complex is really your dormitory and work agency. Okay. I will go first with the work agency because this is usually a cycle. So each level of the work agency gives you a different uh, item as they are yielding every R. So this one, this is for your artifact. Uh, shopping center is for, I think this is for your furniture. So decoration points. So these are currencies that you can farm here. This one is for your tribute points. And your medical center is basically for your mission data, which 
upgrades directly your cases. But I think the one that you should prioritize, which actually one of my mistakes as well, is not not prioritizing the training center because the training center would ye would yield you these the fusion material or the fusion metal which upgrades all of your structures so for you to upgrade your medical center you need that fusion material so i should have worked on this at first what i did was i equally upgraded them and my upgrade is actually slow so right now I'm working on the work agency to more or less level up this to level four. But I'm not sure how far it goes, but you unlock this at level four, which gives you more yield for fusion metal. So again, prioritize first work agency. Then it's up to you on which of the others would you prioritize next. That is actually my advice for you guys. And when these girls are ready looking like this they're very sad already so before that you could do a quick collect on the rewards if there are rewards the quick dispatch will basically replace them so they're already sad right now they're tired so just click on um per area then clear selection click fresh ones then just repeat the process for the rest before you dispatch Okay, so clear selection, select fresh, clear selection, select fresh, then clear selection, select fresh, then dispatch. Okay, so that is it. Then once you, you know, of course, these are fresh, you know, fresh workers, you go to your dormitory, of course. I would highly advise that you only unlock up to level 1 and 2. Um, because for me, I'm not using my third level as frequent as possible. Unlock 1 and 2 until you really need to house people on the, th on the third floor. So in Occupy, again, because I only cleared 10, I'll be using more or less only the first and second floors. Or two floors so because only 10 were exhausted then only 10 will be housed in their dormitories this one will be your will be your extra so hold on to it i'm not saying you don't upgrade it in the future but again uh if you can upgrade prioritize floor one and two then that's it there's also a comfort buff here as well so decorate, you know that guys, you know how to decorate this. Going back to the work agency. Again, prioritize training center to make sure that you have enough materials to upgrade or level up all of the centers here. Then dormitory, prioritize levels uh, one floor or first floor and second floor. So that is it. It's not really that complex. Um, sometimes you just need to understand how it works, how, what better to prioritize. And that is it, guys. So next video, um, probably create that tomorrow. I still have a guest here um, where I am. We have a festival happening. So hopefully this, um, I made a video earlier on the best buys and the complex. I've explained how to better utilize it. So that is it. So hopefully, again, comments in the comment section if you find this helpful thank you guys take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here